Hello class, we'd like to try to help you out with Eclipse, make your life a little bit easier with a few how-tos. I've got a project called Test New open. I also have a package called Test New. We don't want to put our, our files in this SRC package. Always make your own package. I'm suggesting you use a name the same as your project. I already have a program called Test One here, but I want to make another program in this package. So I'm going to click on this icon for new Java class. And I'm going to call this one test2, capitalizing that first character in the class name. Very important. Now, normally, I would check off this uh, checkbox to get the main method in my file. But let's say I forget. I do from time to time. Perhaps you will, too. So if you forget, you won't have a main method in your class. No big deal. All you have to do is type in name and remember the magic keystrokes control spacebar. And you'll notice that main method is a suggestion. If I just press enter, it'll add my main method for me. Okay, that's called a template. It's a, a uh, editor template. Well, you can make other editor templates and they are very useful and will help you with your coding. One of the things that you're going to have to do in chapter two and onward is to create an instance of the scanner class and hook it up with the keyboard. That's what this code does. This line here creates an object of type scanner called input. It runs the scanner constructor, more about that later, and system.in is the name of the keyboard. So basically what this does is it creates an object called input and connects it with your keyboard so that you can enter values from the keyboard for your variables. Now you'll notice that I'm getting a complaint from Eclipse and when I hover over the uh, red part of the uh, code, you'll see it says scanner can't be resolved to a type. So at this point, Eclipse does not know what scanner is. That's because scanner is not in the java.lang package. The java.lang package is the default package that's always available to you when you're working with Java. Some other classes, like scanner in this case, are not in the java.lang package and you have to import them. So in order to do that, what you can do is you could come up here and type in import or here's a here's a good trick control shift o on the keyboard and that'll give you this pop up and you can choose java.util.scanner that's the right one now i'm going to cancel that and, and show you another way you can hit source organize imports that gives you the same pop up and this is the one we want java.util.scanner as soon as i click on that you'll notice that the red uh, warnings error messages go away we still get a warning here this is just a warning that we haven't used this value yet okay so um, <clears throat> that's how you can create your your scanner this will hook you up to the keyboard we have to import it from the java.util package so remember that source in, source organized imports that's a good one because it'll also get rid of any imports that you don't need which is helpful at times now typing this in gets old pretty quickly. So I'm going to copy that and show you another way that you could do that with another template. Just as we got main a moment ago by using control spacebar, we can uh, create our own templates. If we hit window preferences on the menu, if we expand Java, then editor, one of the choices is templates. And if you click on that, here is an entire list of templates that you can use to ease your typing. We want to create another one for the scanner. And I think I might already have it in here. I guess let's see if I already have a scan in here. I thought I might, but I guess I don't. Okay, so I'll make a new one. New. And up here, I'm just going to type scan. That's what I'll enter in main when I want to get a scanner object. Now, I'll put a little uh, explanation for what that is. We're going to create a new scanner instance or object, another, another word for the same thing. And here's why I copied that code so I can paste it in here. So what this is going to do is add it to our template list. Now, if I hit apply and close, all I have to do back in my program, from here on in, by the way, this will be saved in your Eclipse, control spacebar, and you'll notice you get that pop-up, and you can press enter. Saves you a lot of typing. 
Okay, I wanted you to see that. And we'll see some others as we go along through the course. Now, from time to time, your code will get messed up a little bit. We would like you to uh, present properly uh, indented and formatted code when you uh, submit your assignments. And, but it's not unusual for your code to get messed up a little bit. Like, say, for example, this. This is messed up. It's not in good format. A good way you can fix it up is source again, format. And that'll fix up all the indentation. Please do that before you submit your assignments. Now, if you want to delete a particular program, you can certainly do that just by right-clicking on it and hitting delete. You get a, a prompt here to, to make sure that you that's what you want to do. And that'll get rid of it. You can get rid of an entire, um, an entire project if you want. But if you want to do that, make sure you check this off. Otherwise, it isn't really deleted from your workspace. It just doesn't show up in your, in your package manager. I don't want to delete that, though, so I'll just cancel that. A good thing to do, though, when you're through with a uh, particular project is to close it, to keep your, keep your uh, package, package, uh, package explorer nice and neat. Okay, hope that helps. Have fun with the clips.